Hello viewers, and welcome to this lecture on the mollusks. Today's lecture is on the classification and anatomy and physiology of the mollusks. Now, the mollusks are soft-bodied silomate invertebrates that are characterized by the possession of shells and tentacles, basically. Now, they also have other anatomical and physiological features that distinguish them from other organisms. They are silomate organisms because they have internal body cavity and they also possess tentacles. Now, the tentacles, the number of tentacles also distinguish one class of mollusks from another. Here we have typical examples of mollusks and typical examples of mollusks include the snails, the slugs, and the clams. The snails, slugs, and clams. And others include the octopuses, the squids, the, uh, the cuttlefish, and many others. Now, these uh, mollusks are classified into about eight classes. We have the class Gastropoda. The class Gastropoda consists of the snails and the slugs. It consists of the snails and slugs. The snails and slugs belong to the class Gastropoda. Then we also have the class Bivalvia that is made up of the, the mussels and the clams. This, this is a clam. The bivalves have two shells. The gastropods are known to possess uh, a shell, though some of them do not have, but they are called gastropods because they are known to work with a muscular foot. Okay. The bivalves do not have, they are not able to, uh, they do not have such muscular foot, but they have wedge foot for locomotion. They will also have the class cephalopoda that consists of the octopuses and squid and other classes include the classes monoplacophora, the class polyplacophora, the class cordovoviata and many others. Now what are the features, characteristics of the mollusks that distinguish them from other organisms? The mollusks possess shells and these shells distinguish them from other organisms. They possess shells and the shells are made up of calcium carbonate. They possess shells and the shells are made up of calcium carbonate. Though some species like this slug, like the slug, lack shells. The slugs lack shells and the octopuses also lack shells. The snails also possess tentacles they possess ten they they the they mollusks possess tentacles. The snails that are in the class gastropoda, the snails that are in the class gastropoda have two pairs of tentacles. They possess two pairs of tentacles, a pair of oscilliferous tentacles that made up mix the mix of the eye. Okay, that possesses the eye and a pair of tactile tentacles. Okay, so the tactile tentacles are actually used for, they also usually have sensory functions. They usually exhibit sensory functions. Then the oscilliferous tentacles are basically used for sight. So the uh, gastropod mollusks have two pairs of tentacles. The bivalves do not have tentacles, but they have structures that are called palps. While the cephalopods, that's the octopuses and squids, possess uh, the octopus and squid possess a uh, varying number of tentacles the octopuses have eight tentacles and they are said to be cephalopods because their tentacles are attached to their feet their feet are attached to their sorry their tentacles are attached to their head okay so uh, cephalopod means head feet or head appendages then we also have many others that have varying number of tentacles. The uh, mollusks are also known to possess a rasping tongue that's called the radula. That's basically what enables snails to feed on leaves. This hole that's on this plant was as a result of the feeding of uh, snails on these leaves. So 
they they are able to use their rasping tongue to feed okay it, it is made up of chitin then they also excrete with the aid of nephridia or protonephridia excretion is basically through nephridia or with the aid of protonephridia then the mollusks also uh, respire particularly the aquatic ones they respire with the aid of gills or tenidia they respire with the aid of gills the gills are also called tenidia then those that are terrestrial make use of lungs for respiration the terrestrial mollusks now uh, just as i said before the gastropod mollusks have two pairs of tentacles a pair of osciliferous tentacles and a pair of tactile tentacles these ones contain the eyes while these other ones have tactile functions now the snails also have some other features that uh, distinguish them from others now uh, their bodies are divided into the head the head the foot and visceral mass the head foot and visceral mass okay their bodies are divided into three parts the head foot and the visceral mass the head contains the eyes and the brain and other even the mouth and other features then they also are distinguished from others other organisms in that they have a body cavity that's called the hemocell the body cavity has the hemocell they have an open circulatory system their uh, blood is not conveyed by blood vessels okay the blood is called the hemolymph which uh, is that slimy liquid that comes out of the snail when you caught it okay so the hemolymph contains uh, is the blood and it's usually it doesn't have hemoglobin all right so and these snails because they carry out a open circulatory system their wastes are introduced directly into the hemo hemocell okay they are introduced directly into the hemocell and excreted so and uh, these organisms are known to work with the aid of various uh, locomotory organelles okay uh, the octopuses and squids move with the aid of jet pr propulsion okay and uh, they they also move with the aid of their uh, their tentacles while these ones have a muscular feet the the clams have a wedge foot for locomotion so thank you very much for watching this video i believe you have learned something very important about the mollusks please keep watching more from my youtube and tiktok channels i am dr gijo aibakure harry thanks for watching